Hey, this is Joe, and today let's talk about polynomial end behavior. And when we say end behavior, we're just talking about what happens to our function as x goes to positive or negative infinity. And for polynomials, there are exactly four end behaviors that we have. So let's go ahead and talk about how we determine which end behavior a polynomial has. Let's look at this polynomial here. 6x to the 4th plus 5x to the 3rd minus 2x to the 2nd plus x minus 20. Now, the end behavior of a polynomial is determined by the constant and power of the term with the highest power. So, when looking in this polynomial, which of these terms has the highest power? Well, it looks like this 6x to the 4th is the highest power term in my polynomial. So 6x to the 4th is going to determine our end behavior. And the two things we care about in terms of 6x to the 4th is whether or not the coefficient is positive or negative, and in this case, 6 is positive. And then we also care about whether or not the power is even or odd, and in this case 4 is even. Since the highest power of my polynomial is even and its coefficient is positive, that means my end behavior is going to be the same as the end behavior of positive x squared. When looking at x squared, as x as we go to infinity on my x-axis, my y values approach positive infinity. When I go to negative infinity on the x-axis, my y value goes to positive infinity. Mainly, this just tells us that when we graph our function, as we go to infinity on the x-axis, our y values are going to go to positive infinity. And when we go to negative infinity on the x-axis, my y values are also going to go to positive infinity. 